hey guys what's up so let's discuss the mcqs based on the 2nd february 2017 current affairs and they are like they can be expected to come in the upsc csc prelims 2017 presented by me roman seni instructions are pretty clear if you get 1 2 3 you have very low chance of selection if you are getting eight or more you have very high chance of selection please watch the lessons on the hindu summary and editorial analysis made by the panchu singh as soon as the question appear pause the video answer the question and resume it 100% of the time please write your score in the comment section below and it will help us in determining and it will help you in determining where you stand as compared to others question number 1 consider the following statements about fipb that is foreign investment promotion board fipb is housed by department of disinvestment ministry of finance this is wrong this is department of economic affairs recommendations on proposals of total foreign equity inflow of more than rupees 5000 crore are placed under fipb okay it is not more it is less okay if it is more then it will go to the cabinet committee on economic affairs so if it is less than 5000 then it goes to fipb if it is more than 5000 it goes to cabinet committee on economic affairs answer is d neither one nor two so foreign investment promotion board is housed in the department of economic affairs it is an inter ministerial body responsible for processing of fdi proposals and making recommendations for government approval while as i already told less than 5000 fipb more than 5000 ccea question number 2 which of the following places are covered under both the schemes that is prasad and hridaya so answer here is 1 2 4 and 5 so basically uh, pilgrimage rejuvenation rejuvenation and spirituality augmentation drive is known as prasad it is a ministry of tourism scheme while heritage city development and augmentation yojana is hriday it is under ministry of urban development now prasad is under 12 city that is amravati gaya dwarka amritsar ajmer kanjipuram velankani puri varanasi mathura kedarnath and kamakhya hriday scheme is again in 12 cities amravati gaya dwarka badami puri amritsar ajmer kanjipuram velankani varangal varanasi and mathura okay so just to know these schemes in detail so answer here is c that is 1 2 4 5 so you can read more about these schemes here prasad is basically related to spirituality while hriday is related to the development of heritage cities and their augmentation question number 3 consider the following statements about plan and non plan expenditure c rangarajan committee recommended doing away with the distinction between plan and non plan expenditure in the budget yes absolutely correct 100% correct the classification of expenditure into plan and non plan is rooted in the constitution if it is so it was rooted in the constitution then it is not easy to change it away so this is wrong the classification of expenditure into plan and non plan is present only in the central budget and absent in the state budget okay this is also wrong uh, so answer is one only that is c so c rang rajan committee on efficient management of public expenditure made the recommendation and it should be noted that such a classification that is plan and non plan is not rooted in the constitution and both the center and the states uses the classification of plan and non plan now union budget of 2017 18 has done away with the classification of expenditure into plan and non plan so answer is c question number 4 iran does not share its boundary with which of the following countries now iran is trending since morning on facebook donald trump has put it on an official notice so questions can come from iran now anybody who was well familiar with the map so you know that pakistan and afghanistan shares the border okay then turkmenistan shares the border azerbaijan shares the border armenia shares the border turkey shares the border and obviously iraq shares the border so answer now see the thing is here the answer is uh, a because only 3 and 4 are correct here because it is asking with it is not sharing the border so it shares the border with iraq it shares the border with azerbaijan okay it does not share border with yemen and syria because they are very far yemen to it's like way south way down and syria is also beyond iraq iraq shares border with syria not iran answer is uh, a that is 3 and 4 afghanistan obviously shares border with iran huge border pakistan also shares border as you can see this is afghanistan this is pakistan this is turkmenistan this is azerbaijan this is armenia turkey and iraq so here is syria and somewhere south way below south is yemen consider the following statements about champaran satyagraha by the way if you want us to use more maps let us know 
this was the second movement participated by Gandhi after being victorious in the Khed Satyagraha in Gujarat. The Champaran Satyagraha was against the Teen Kathia system which forced the cultivators to cultivate indigo on 320th of their holdings. Okay, answer here is uh, B. Okay, the second is correct, first is wrong. Why? Let us see. So, Mahatma Gandhi plunged into the Champaran movement in 1917. Okay, on the persuasion of Rajkumar Shukla. Ahmedabad mill strike in 1918 and Khed Satyagraha. So, it was after, not before, followed subsequently. And the year 2017 marks the centenary of the Champaran Satyagraha. So, Saal ho chuke hai. It was one of the greatest step which gave us spine that we can fight and it was for peasants farmers who are like the backbone of our nation question number six consider the following scheme and broad theme pradhan mantri krishi sachai yojana organic farming pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana irrigation paramparagat krishi vikas yojana crop insurance which of the following are correctly matched uh, all the three are not correctly matched. Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sichai Yojana. Anybody who knows basic Hindi can tell that Sichai means irrigation. Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana. Anybody who knows basic Hindi knows that Fasal Bima means crop insurance. Anybody who knows uh, basic Hindi can tell that Paramparagat means like which is going on traditionally. Parampara means tradition and it is related to organic farming all three are wrong that is why you need to understand hindi even if it is not the national language of the india many schemes are named after because it is the official language of the india and there is a department which is there in the central ministry to promote hindi and its usage so please understand hindi uh, okay question number seven consider the following statements about national uh, optic fiber network this project has been renamed by the ND government as Bharatnet. The aim of the project is to connect India's 2.5 lakh gram panchayats or village blocks. It is a key program of the government to improve broadband penetration in India. All the three statements are absolutely 102% correct. Answer is 1, 2, 3. The inter it was introduced in 2011 by the UPA government and the project aimed to provide broadband connectivity to over 2 lakh gram panchayats of India and NOFN was emphasized as an information superhighway through the creation of a robust middle mile infrastructure for reaching broadband connectivity to gram panchayats and as an updated and revised edition Bharatnet that is and the success of the project is key to facilitate the delivery of e-governance otherwise e-governance, e-health, e-education, e-banking, internet all these services will never be able to reach India except for this Question number 8 Consider the following statement regarding the certain that is Indian Computer Emergency Response Team it is under Aegis of Ministry of Science and Technology, 102% wrong. It is under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. One of the main objectives of certain is to prevent as well as respond to cyber attacks. Obviously, this is correct. Answer is B. That is two only. It is under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Very, very important. And with the vision of proactively contributing and securing India's cyberspace, certain also aims to enhance the security of India's communications and information infrastructure through proactive action and effective collaboration question number nine ease of doing business index is published by who answer is world bank group okay so answer is ninth ka b so basically world bank publishes the ease of business doing business index the higher ranking means a low number value that is 1 2 3 10 12 they are good which means they are better usually simpler regulation for businesses and stronger protection of proprietary property rights uh, unfortunately okay in India does not happen that way. Unfortunately, India's ease of business doing index is very bad. And the finance minister has mentioned in the budget about government's continuing policy towards providing an environment of ease of doing business in the country. Last question for the day is Kelo India, which is the national program for development of sports, was implemented by merging which of the following schemes? Rajiv Gandhi Kelo Bian, absolutely correct. Urban sports infrastructure scheme, absolutely correct. Scheme of Assistance to National Sports Federation, absolutely wrong. National Sports Talent Search System Program, absolutely correct. Answer is 1, 2 and 4. Very, very important for your MCQ. Okay. So, Khelo India Program was implemented by merging three schemes. That is Rajiv Gandhi Khelo Bian, Urban Sports Infrastructure Scheme, National Sports Talent Search System Program. It takes care to develop sports infrastructure in both rural and urban areas. Provides not only for identification of talent, but guiding and nurturing of the talent through assistance to Sports Authority of India Training Centers and Academies and State Government Training Centers Academies 
and setting up of new academies both in the public as well as PPP mode. So I hope you have liked these lessons. Thank you for watching this. Have an awesome day.